In this demonstration, we show how a humanoid now robot is being controlled, remotely controlled by a human wearing the full body motion capture suit. What you currently see is a human controlling the head of the robot by just naturally rotating the head around. We can also make the robot move sideways, as you see here on the screen. We can make him move forward with just tiny little steps forward being performed by a human. Same works for backwards. We can make the robot do a little turn or even a bigger turn, as you start seeing it right now. The eventual goal of this remote control is to to create a tool for training robot to better play soccer. And of course we want to be able to chase the ball and kick the ball and what you currently observe is a robot trying to approach the ball and do a little dribbling with the ball. The interface as you can see is quite precise and pretty responsive even though there is a little lag happening on the robot side and of course the robot can't move as fast as a human does but still it's possible to control him quite reasonably. Another thing we have done is we created a piece of software that can stream the image from the robot's eyes onto a, any mobile device, an iPhone in this case. And what you see on the screen is a, a user tries to control the robot without actually looking at the robot itself, but just trying to chase the ball by observing the picture that he can see on the screen. And as he moves his head left and right, up and down, the robot mimics his head movement. And that's how it is possible for the user to search for the ball and essentially coach the robot this ball searching behavior rather than directly programming this behavior. Of course, you can see that it's, it's rather difficult for the user to just move his head in sync with the device and smoothly move the device aligned exactly the same as the user head. And in the future, we will replace the iPhone with some form of glasses where the image is projected and it, the movement will be much smoother and it will be much, much easier for the user to, to chase the ball, to look around and to have a full-on experience. Now you, you observe how, how it looks like when the user tries to, to score a goal while looking at this mobile device, checking out the picture the robot can see, and then trying to move and control the robot. Of course, it requires quite some adjustment on the user side to fully disconnect from the external environment and fully focus on the little screen of the iPhone, but it is a feasible solution. and. Controlling the robot in this manner just by stepping naturally creates this feeling of being immersed into its body and it just works very reasonably. And right now you even see the robot scoring a goal in this way.